I know that laptops fold. Let's just go ahead and do the magic trick. But in this case, the screen actually folds. There we go. Like a, a mobile, portable, foldable. There we go. You're gonna definitely get some attention because there's just not a lot of stuff out there quite like this. So look at the size of this display. 4K, full screen, yeah. shut up! Look! Big robot guy. Look! Like, uh... <clears throat> so this is one of the most unusual laptops on the planet right now, if you can even call it a laptop. It's really a large folding device. Huge OLED display. It is the ZenBook 17 Fold OLED. The crazy part, like the cool part about that is that you have a 17 inch display. When's the last time you saw that on a laptop anyway? Since the screen folds, the display folds, the footprint is the size of like a 12 and a half inch. Hey, half the laptop is on the desk surface. No, no, no. They have solutions for that. This is a wild device and it's going to be a wild unboxing experience. Look at this ball. You can already tell that something special is gonna happen. And I like what they've been doing with this like cryptic kind of uh, branding. Pull down on the, oh, look at the way it opens up. We slide it out. You may have seen prototypes of this device, but now it's an actual thing that you can buy. Look at the size of this display. My goodness. This has to be the lightest 17 inch display that you can possibly operate with an entire PC inside of it. Maybe three pounds, 3.3 pounds. Let's just go ahead and do the magic trick. There we go. We are folded up. That's the size of an ultra portable. They're saying that this size here is around the footprint of a 12.5 inch laptop. When you have less space to work with, like on a tray table in an airplane or something, or even in a cafe, a biscuit of some kind, a cannoli or something, look at this. You use it in this orientation. You can have a dual mode sort of thing going on, two displays and having an input on the bottom, or you can use their accessory to create a laptop with an actual keyboard. Quite cool. Just before we get into that, some specifications. Intel Core i7 1250U chip, some power savings and power considerations in that chip selection, up to 16 gigs of RAM. This display is actually 17.3 inches, 2.5K panel. When it's in this orientation, that's actually a four by three aspect ratio. Yes, you can use it as a huge 17 inch tablet. You can have it on the table with a touch based input. You can also prop it up on its own. Look at that. So this is really where the magic happens. A very lightweight 17 inch display with lots of screen real estate. And I can set up my keyboard accessory in front of it. It's all kinds of interesting workflows that you can imagine here. If you have a little bit more space and you're gonna be working for a longer period of time, you go kickstand with separate keyboard, you're in a ultra portable or sort of quick setup scenario, then you're gonna slap that keyboard onto you. You can see that Windows automatically reconfigures itself depending on the orientation. I'm just gonna leave this here for a second because I am looking for this keyboard accessory and I think it's in this package. I'm correct, an extremely portable keyboard solution which can be used external to the device or actually right on top of it, creating a more traditional laptop style input. It's wirelessly connected via Bluetooth, so that's what gives you the flexibility as far as placement is concerned. That's the magic trick. It knows at that point that you've installed the keyboard and then moves Windows elements so that they're oriented correctly with the keyboard installed. I remove it and they go back all the way to the bottom. Prioritize touch-based input as opposed to keyboard input. It's actually a fairly large sized keyboard. And they've even gone ahead and included a trackpad in there. When you're in this orientation, you're gonna wanna have a trackpad as well as have a touch-based input. The cool part is that the thing can fold down with the keyboard inserted. The wedge shape here allows for enough tolerance to keep the keyboard in this position when you're carrying it around. Looking around the device, Thunderbolt 4 in this location, an analog 
audio jack as well as an LED. There's a power switch with an LED on it in that location there. We get one more Thunderbolt 4. Of course, these are USB type C connectors. I also see that it says Dolby Vision Atmos, dedicated volume buttons on the exterior of the device. Obviously, you can imagine how immersive this experience could be like watching movies on the couch. Like that's crazy amount of screen filling your peripheral. Now, something else that I'm noticing examining the device here is just how many little rubber feet are on there here and here, here and here. So they really have thought of this variety of orientations and how to make it feel robust to give you confidence in this variety of orientations that you might use it in. I think this comes with a 65 watt. you can actually use the box as a stand. So you don't have to throw it out. <laughs> I mean, enough people hold on to these anyways, and it is a really nice box. I think they're saying you can keep it around and use it as a permanent stand. So inside this box, a power brick type C connector on the other end. Yes, it is a 65 watt adapter. This is a dongle, USB type C to USB A. If you've never seen flexible OLED before, you may be looking at these reflections and sort of witnessing this crease in the center, and that may make you feel uncomfortable. I personally have been using folding devices on a daily basis now. This is a thing that you kind of just get used to and you, you really stop noticing as much. I know that sounds a little bit crazy, but we currently have a giant light shining on this. A lot of the time as well, when you're using these types of devices, you have control over the lighting in your environment and where these flexible OLED displays really shine is when you're you're in a slightly dimmer environment and then they're just so vibrant. And obviously the darker areas are extremely black. So you get this amazing contrast that they're capable of. The colors as well. I, I kind of, this is like a, the worst angle. The ceiling is in there. It really needs to be like there. You do actually have a one terabyte PCIe NVMe M2 SSD in here. So you've got actually quite a bit of storage. 3.3 pounds without the keyboard, accessory, and 3.97 width. And the battery is a 75 watt hour lithium polymer. On the inside here, you can very obviously see where that hinge is uh, folding. Then they've kind of softened it with this leather-like material on the outside where you're going to be gripping it. Kind of hides that hinge and also gives you a nice spot to carry it. You see the way that that operates there. All right, so options for input. If I'm in a web browser, I don't have my keyboard with me. I get this virtual keyboard. This is a test. Lazy dog. It's obviously not as fast as having a tactile proper keyboard. However, it's usable and it's way faster than what you're gonna get on a typical tablet and certainly not on something of this scale. When you plop the keyboard on, the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog and the quick brown fox and quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. The keyboard is nice. The keyboard is definitely an improvement over typing on the screen. I like versatility. I like devices that transform into different things. I like the fact that they even packed a trackpad into there. 4K, full screen, you shut like up! Robots, Look! Big robot guy. Look! Like you have to coexist with? Probably not Gundam robots. Okay. Unless it's those ones in Japan that are like doing rep repairs on a... Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. On the uh, subway. Like, uh, what is that mech? It's like a mech. There's really nothing quite like this experience that I'm aware of. You obviously have big tablets that are out there. They're always big, right? They don't fold. So you carry them around like this. In this case, you just do this and this, and like that goes with you, and it it really is, it looks fine. It looks proper. Oh, that guy's carrying a laptop. You know 
that you have access to a 17 inch display in here. Since it's in its folded orientation, the fragile aspect, which is the display, is hidden. So this implementation is pretty cool. I really like what they did with the keyboard. And obviously I'm a huge fan of OLED displays in general and what they can do and how vibrant they are and how nice to look at they are. It, it really has a science fiction feel to it. And it's really gonna be a comfortable place to consume content, get a little bit of work done. It's not gonna be the most powerful laptop on the planet for correspondence and typical like daily work. There's another orientation you could do. How about that crazy one right there? It's gonna seem like magic and it's gonna turn some heads for sure. You're gonna definitely get some attention because there's just not a lot of stuff out there quite like this. I love seeing the push into this technology. Obviously we've seen it on the mobile devices, but it's really more versatile than that. Once we're able to fold and bend displays, we need to start thinking in an imaginative way as to like how that can affect other technology segments as well. And then having to design something that's gonna like automatically make that adjustment. It's also silent. That might be a benefit of the 1250U chip that's inside of it, low power consumption. So we do have cameras on here. I've also got infrared, so you're gonna do face unlock, facial recognition, three, two, one. Not the worst quality either. We can go ahead and run a video sample. This is a video sample using the front facing camera on the ZenBook 17 Fold OLED. So there you have it. One of the most innovative devices featured in a while. Uh, thank goodness for 2022. It's not over yet. I don't know what the final form factor of these things looks like. This is definitely a step in the direction of some kind of futuristic folding all-in-one computing platform. It is the ZenBook 17 Fold OLED. Cool.